Hi everyone, this is Bibi Cameron and today I'm going to be sharing the contents of the Tonic Craft Kit this month and I'm also going to share with you some ideas and inspiration. So this kit includes a preview of one of the new Nubo color trends for this year called Tropical Paradise. So all the products in the Nubo range will be available in these bright and vibrant colors. So here we have a couple of Nubo drops and with this you will be able to add beautiful 3D embellishments to your cards. You can see the colors here. You will also get glitter and confetti in these new colors, a mini Nubo glacier paste, and although there the camera went a little bit blur, this is a Nubo Mica spray bottle. Do not forget to clean the nozzles of the bottles as you see there every time you use them to keep them clean and ready to go. This kit also includes a Nubo glitter marker. These markers are water-based, so that means that if you blend the ink of these pens with water, you will be able to add color to images with these pens. This kit also includes a five pieces stamp set and paper in different colors and textures. And one of the things I love the most about the Tony Craft Kit is the die set. This is a nine pieces die set designed to die cut borders in different ways. Some of these dies do not have a blade on the edge, so you might need to use a coordinating die to cut the edge. And other dies in this kit will have a blade in an edge and the other one might not have that blade. And this will give you more versatility because you can die cut panels in different sizes. You can also die cut the panel across in a corner or in many different ways. You can also combine dies. But here I want to show you the very basic die cut shapes you will achieve with these dies. So there you go. Okay, so I also wanted to make some kind of very, very attractive backgrounds for these cards. So I just grabbed some Nubo Aquaflow pens and I just applied them on the mat like that. I spray water, I place a piece of watercolor paper over and I wiggle it a little bit to cover that piece of paper with that ink and I semi-dry the paper. I didn't dry it completely. Then I did the same with another piece of paper. And I keep applying ink and water on that mat and then I dab the paper over and over and after I dab the paper on it I always apply a little bit of heat to semi dry the paper. You will see that the paper is not totally dry and there are some puddles still wet on the paper before I apply it on the mat again. That's a key to achieve this kind of look and feel. I call them cauliflower effects or hard lines. In watercolor, these are mistakes, but I really wanted to achieve that look and I spent some time trying to figure out how to achieve this. And this might look very similar to other videos I have shared here in my YouTube channel using very similar products or the same products, but this is different just because I'm doing a couple of different things. So to achieve this kind of cauliflower effects and hard lines, you can also move the puddles of water on the watercolor paper using the heat tool. So the inked water will dry through the paper while it creates all those hard lines and those cool effects. I'm also using a lot more water here than in the previous video. I'm going to link that in the video description because depending on the amount of water and how you dry the paper, you will achieve different results. So you will see that even though I use very similar techniques for these backgrounds and for the previous video, the results are totally different. Doesn't matter what colors of ink you use, try not to blend those inks over the mat so you will still see all the colors you apply there. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put some cards together. So first, I'm going to glue this piece over that watercolor background and I'm going to trim any excess of paper. I also use the help of an embossing folder by Tonic Studios. These are huge, but they will create a beautiful patterned background for these cards. And I also use the beautiful mirror card included in the kit to add accents here and there to these cards. I also use foam adhesive at the back of these panels to add a little bit of dimension and I embellish using sequence by Tonic Studios. All the supplies I'm using in this video are listed in the video description. Okay, for the next card, I decided to emboss the watercolor background panel. I just glue it onto an ivory white card base by Tonic Studios. I added a trim of this hollow paper included in the kit. It's just beautiful. After I glue it, I carefully cut any excess of that paper and using double-sided foam tape, I'm just going to adhere this panel like so. I'm going to stamp over this panel a sentiment and I'm going to embellish using festival gold and champagne pure shine sequence. Any other card in my blog today was done exactly the same way. So here I have another two samples. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel or visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.